And we are back. Thanks for staying with us. I believe that um, a trained <clears throat> child, a, well who, a child who is well trained, is a reflection of a sinner society. And on parenting today, we have Ambassador Babatunde Kayode, who is a teen transformational coach, parent, teens relationship, and mental health advocate. And today, we'll be talking about parenting and societal sanity. Good morning. How are you doing? This Good morning. I'm fine. Great. Let's dive right into the conversation. Parental okay. and social sanity. Now, let's break it down to the role of parenting and how it reflects on the society at large. Okay. So, um, I, I love your opening. Um, you said, um, I don't know if I would get it right, but the reflection of society is based on how a child is, how a child is being um, trained. So the last time on the show, I mentioned that there are certain provisions that parents need to make aside material provision. And all this would, you know, put together the roles and to build a total child. So when we say uh, parenting and social sanity, we're saying that the sanity of a society is dependent, dependent on what goes on in the home. Mm -hmm. And what goes on in the home, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> is largely vested on the parent and the process of parenting. Mm. So the kind of input you put into your parenting determines what the child will become and what the child becomes to a large extent determines how sane the society will be. I am not disputing what you have just said, but um, they have conversations or there are conversations that have come up where um, my opinion is I feel that sometimes there's so much responsibility given to our parents that takes away from even our individual responsibilities, whether as a child or as an adult, okay. right? I feel that it's just my opinion, right? Because I feel like we all play a role. We all have a collective role to play in regards to how, in regards to having a sinner society. Now let's break down some of those roles. Um, now, taking away from the materials that you have mentioned, what are those critical roles that parents should play in how their children turn out in life. Okay, I love the fact that you said that um, parents are said to have a lot of roles, but then we cannot um, deny the fact that parenting is serious business. It's a full-time, I call it a full-time job. Mm. And what I tell people is if you're not ready to raise a child, don't do what would make you get a child, mm. okay? So, um, parenting is the base for a center society, just like I said. And one of the major role is provision, basically, okay? Now, you need to pay a lot of attention to your children. Now, I know that there are a lot of things now that um, gets- Influences. Yes, yeah, that, that gets um, the attention of the parents away. Maybe you're going to make ends meet and the rest mm -hmm. of that. But then, you cannot totally neglect your children especially in this era where we find ourselves. I, I saw somebody mentioning Gen Z all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, we cannot leave them at the mercy of society. Uh, there, was, there used to be a time where we had this um, extended family, you know, vested with the responsibility of being the child. Mm -hmm. But now it has been broken down that it is just for the parents. Even some parents don't even want their children mixing up with other people. Mm -hmm. But then there are certain disadvantages to that because you cannot do that alone. The parent cannot do that alone, but they would be the one to start that process okay now let's talk about this process that you okay made. number one paying attention to your children mm. and paying atten attention to your children would mean spending time with them so the first question i'd like to ask parents is do you know your children now apart from being a teen's parent um, advocate i i teach in a school mm -hmm. high school okay. and we get to see a lot of um, issues like that so there was something that happened very recently a parent almost slapped me Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, she had an issue with the, with the boy, the child, in school, and she came ranting and all that. So I just went to her very calmly. I said, Ma, the rate at which you're treating your child's um, teachers in front of your, ch your, your child, mm -hmm. how do you expect your child to see the, mm -hmm. the, the teachers from now? Mm -hmm. And she told me to get out of her sight or else she's going to slap me. Now, what lesson would she be teaching that child? Now, how would that child relate to the teachers in class? how that child relate to others. So that is just um, an outward expression of what goes on inside the house. Mm. So how would you expect that child to grow up respecting elders in society? Mm. You know, we have now, uh, uh, there was another one, sorry, I'm just bringing these instances. I was speaking with a teenager recently, 
and then you told me that it was into internet for a boy of 14. A teenager. Yes, wow. a boy of 14. Okay. Okay, apart from other things you said. Mm. Now, you said he's even interning. Mm. Yes, he's, he's interning with his phone. Mm. Now, the parents are not even aware. Where? Of this mm. now talking about phones because there are so many vices that you know children are exposed to right now on social media how best can parents help to monitor the activities that go on with their children and their phones thank you so I do not advocate that phones should be taken away from children they are digital natives they need, the, need this gadget to actually develop themselves but mm -hmm. the monitoring is where exactly it, uh, it comes in so how do you monitor do you just give the phones to them? Do they have screen time? In my home, I have screen time. There are certain times when we don't use our phones. Okay. What, what's your screen time? Mine is nine. After nine, after 9 p.m.? Yes, after nine, I snooze. Okay. okay. Except I have something very important to do. Okay. But then, for my kids, even for TVs, okay. there's screen time. Mm. That is one. Two, there's this, um, I'm trying to remember now, this Google um, facility that helps mm. you to monitor what your Google child does. On it. Yes. Mm. Not a lot of parents even know about that anyway. Mm. But then, if you're giving them this device, you should understand that they don't know how to control it. But then you need to step in. So, giving screen time is one of the ways to monitor. And then not just the screen time, but constantly call them to yourself. Mm. And then explain to them some of the vices that is being done with these things. Help to um, educate them. Because some of the education they get is online and from their friends. And of course, you know, these kids want to feel among, mm. they want to belong to certain cliques. Mm. So they tend to even listen to those more than you. So the place of creating a relationship with your children is very, very important. important. I've seen a case where a parent withdrew a phone from a child, and then the child went on to get another one without the, the notice of the wow. parent. Yes, and doesn't even bring you home. It keeps you with a friend. Wow. Okay, so um, I'll take you away from what you have just said is parents need to pay extra attention to their children yes. regardless of your busy schedule pay attention to your kids thank you so much um Kaede for doing this with us i really wish there's so much this is quite a broader topic sure. even broader than this right like, okay. i'm hoping that we could continue um the conversation next week okay. thank you so much all right guys and that's it on parenting for now our last guest is standing by you don't want to miss that miss out on this stay with us we'll be right back